A bill that's captivated Guilford County is one step from becoming law. The House voted tonight to advance a bill that takes land away from the town of Summerfield for a development project. Lawmakers debated it for a while and tensions ran high. That is some kind of authoritarian move. I don't know why we think this is okay. This developer has an enormous investment in the city. He came into to this and he's, he's got a great plan for it. He did debate on the House floor in Raleigh, the subject, a thousand acres of land in Summerfield. The debate about what to do has gone on for nearly a decade. The latest chapter, possible de-annexation that could pave the way for hundreds of new homes and apartments. House of Representatives, your only vote today is a vote no. Meantime, outside the building, people from Summerfield held a demonstration trying to convince them to vote no. A yes vote clears the way for a development project called the Villages of Summerfield Farms, led by developer David Couch, who owns the land. In the House of Representatives, you are the ones with the authority that can tell Mr. Couch, go sit down. Senate leader Phil Berger has spearheaded de-annexation efforts. He says the area needs more housing and the state needed to act because the town wouldn't. The town has been unwilling to take reasonable steps to accommodate what uh, what are reasonable requests by Mr. Couch. The debate went on for nearly 40 minutes. While lawmakers couldn't completely agree on the de-annexation, many agreed the process has been flawed. I'm sick of it, I'm tired of it, and I hope you all are too. Last week, the Senate pulled Summerfield's de-annexation from one bill and moved it to its current one, increasing its chances of passing. House Speaker Tim Moore says he expects a final vote tomorrow, and if it passes then, it becomes law. And we also heard from the developer at the center of this project. David Couch wrote, I'm thankful that policymakers recognize the current dysfunction of Summerfield's local government and the importance of reasonable rules that accommodate new housing. It's been an exhausting time in my life, and I'm hopeful now for a path forward.